And today I'm speaking to Paul from Outlier about This Means War. So, thanks for doing this, Paul. No worries. Now, uh, I just want to ask a question. Yeah, uh, This Means War is a one to four player spaceship management roguelike. So, players work together to run a spaceship, uh, and that means firing the guns, repairing things as they get broken. And it's available single player, local multiplayer, or online multiplayer as well. And so, would you say this is the kind of game that benefits everyone? Or, or on my multiplayer, or is this the kind of game that you know you play single player by yourself? It's a bit of both. It's a bit of both. So um, you can play single player, and as you progress, whether you're playing single player or multiplayer, you recruit AI companions and stuff. So you can have indirect control over them. They'll do their own thing. They'll help you out on the chip. Uh, but uh, you can also point to things and have them prioritise repairing or shooting the guns or whatever. So you can manage to get through the entire game, forming your crew instead of bringing it with you if you're playing with your friends. Right, so you're not keen like that for going over. No, no, definitely not. Alright, that's great. Uh, and you say online my is there co-op at PvP or is this purely a co-op experience? Purely co-op for now, although we have got a lot of requests for PvP, so that's maybe something that we'll look at further down the line. Now, can I ask, is this the first game for the company Outlier or is this... It is, yeah. So, uh, Outlier is a two-man team. Uh, myself, I'm based in Dublin, and my partner Matt, who's based in uh, Toronto, in Canada. So, individually, we've created uh, games, but this is our first together as a studio. And so you've done that from this distance the entire time? Uh, he was actually living in Ireland uh, uh, right at the outset, and we've been remote for maybe two years. Uh, so even before COVID, uh, then we were working remotely. We don't work that really well because we get to test the online module. Uh, like it's, it's been battle tested, because that's how we have to play. Well, make the best of the situation. Yeah, exactly. So, so this game's been going on for two years, or has the development date back and forth? Uh, a little bit more, so uh, maybe slightly less than three years at this point. So, uh, Part, uh, some of that was part time, but now we're uh, working on it full time as we approach the release. And we're aiming for around January, February time this year for early access release on PC. Nice. And is that game just going to be pure PC release, or are you hoping to release on consoles and other platforms later on? It's a PC release for now, uh, but as part of early access, we'll analyze how that does and then hopefully bring it to consoles around the same time as full launch at the end of 2022. Nice. And so, what's the inspiration for this game? Uh, well, it's really a combination of two genres uh, that we love, which is like the uh, roguelike genre, so uh, the procedural generation, the increasing difficulty, uh, the uh, risk factor of having your ship, if your ship goes down, then uh, that's uh, the end of the run. And then the other genre is the uh, co-op game. So a lot of uh, multiplayer co-op games tend to be very short experiences, where you're playing one or two minute levels, it's more like an uh, interactive puzzle, uh, whereas we wanted to combine the two so it's a longer strategic experience that you can also play with your friends. Nice. And what was the decision for the art style? Why yeah. this particular one for the game? Uh, one of the big factor is, one, we're a two-man team, so keep it uh, you know, scalable so we can generate content quite quickly. But the other big factor is, is readability, because there's a lot going on. When there's multiple players running around, when there's a lot going on on your ship that you have to repair or, or collect or, or uh, rush around the ship, because of that frantic action, it has to be really crystal clear that you can see what's going on. So we went for a more cartoony style because it, it makes it easier to differentiate the different items or, or systems of the ship. And so I realize this is mostly a multiplayer game, but does that mean it doesn't have a story or do we have a bit of a plot going on in the background? Or even central to the game? Uh, yeah, there is. It's a quite light touch, a story uh, goes, but there is a, kind of, uh, a thread that runs through the narrative. Uh, and uh, players, uh, because with a lot of multiplayer games, getting uh, people to read a lot is, uh, is tricky. People tend to skip through, so uh, we made sure that if you are someone that wants to read, and uh, maybe you play single player, you can do that. There's a bit more uh, context for missions and things. But if you really just want to get to the action with your friends, you can go and, and go through that, and it's kind of light touch, so you don't have to endure the lack of content. And so what's been the response so far from EGX today? Have people enjoyed the game? So good, yeah, yeah. So um, we're delighted to be up for sure. The, the demo actually came out on Steam only a few days ago. Uh, so uh, over the last uh, month or so is, is really the, uh, the only time that we've been uh, having people play the demo. Uh, we did run a alpha uh, last year and a beta earlier this year. So uh, the community has already been growing quite a bit around the game. But it's great to see people in person finally. Uh, and let them actually have, you know, have a go. And it's a you know, great experience for, for playing co-op at the show. 
And has there been anything that you've wanted to include in the game, but perhaps you've got the able to do to take the frames or just cover it out for your schedule? Well, we've got a huge list of things that we'd like to do. Uh, so I guess that's part of early access, and we can continue to develop. We've got huge uh, uh, amounts of ideas for content, like uh, ship designs or uh, items that you can interact with in ship, or different missions. Uh, but you have to balance that with the release date. So uh, we're planning uh, to uh, finish off development in the next couple of months. Uh, but after that, continue to support the game, and that's really where we can integrate a lot of the ideas we have for, for later. Uh, and one of which might be a PvP, as you mentioned, uh, where you can get a lot of uh, enjoyment from, from messing with your friends as well as just cooperating with them. Nice. Uh, so, just two small questions. Um, I suppose the first one is what is your favourite thing? Uh, what is my favourite thing? Well, perhaps what you're most proud of. Uh, well, getting the online multiplayer working is not a trivial thing, so uh, having that uh, working and smooth uh, is, a, is a big achievement. But I think the, the design of the game is also something that we, we've iterated on a lot, because uh, having something that is playable single player that you can actually do, but also works really well for the uh, core uh, it's, uh, it's tricky, so that's like, nearly that was one of the biggest achievements I think of the game. Right, good to hear. And so, final question, how would you describe this game to the people watching? So, like, in one phrase or sentence, what would be your description of the game? Uh, well, I guess if you're familiar with FTL and Overcooked, then this means Walker's in the land of the two. Nice, alright, well thanks very much. Yeah.